Hi, I'm Raquel and this is my brother Ezra and today we're going to be sharing with you our experience here at Missionary Education and Evangelistic Training School and so far we have been here for about four weeks and this is our fifth week actually and you know we've just been learning so much about you know our health and how the gospel is related with the health work I know it's just been so much stuff that we've been learning and so much stuff that we've been actually um, doing practically and you know, it's, just been a, it's just been a blessing for us that's why we're really making this video to actually show you guys what we've been learning the first thing that we're going to share with you today is what we've been learning in our Bible class so far we've been learning the importance of studying the Bible and in 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 it says study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and here we see that in order to gain God's approval we need to study the Bible and in the world that we live in today there are so many doctrines going about and sometimes we wonder what should we be living but thankfully God has given us his word so that we can fall back on and we can know what is right what is wrong what to do what not to do and we're just really thankful and praising God that he has given us his holy word and we have also been learning that the Bible is the greatest medical book ever written and that that's interesting that you said that because you know we can really actually study physiology from the Bible itself and that's what we have been really learning also and when we actually look at Psalm 149 verse 14 it tells us you know I'll praise thee David is saying I'll praise thee for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and marvelous how that works so David is really saying you know like our bodies like God really put thought into it and you know it's just so interesting and it's just I'm just like baffled as to you know the structure of, of our body the different functions because it's just so much and if we look at also Jeremiah 31 43 God talks about of him putting his laws in our inward parts or in our organs we see that everything in this world is actually governed by laws but right there's the law of gravity and there's all types of laws but there's also laws that God actually placed in our organs and the study of physiology actually helps us to understand the functions of all these different organs so that we may not defile or we may not break these laws because by breaking the laws of our organs then we can cause harm to our organs and bring in disease so we really saw you know the relation between physiology relation and our um, the Bible and health and all those different things but then what's what's interesting also is that a lot of things can actually affect or break those laws that is in our organs and one of the main things that can actually break those laws is actually not having a right understanding of nutrition in our nutrition class we've been learning the importance of proper nutrition and we've been learning that our cells make up the foundation of our body and our cells need proper nutrition and we get that nutrition from our food so we've been also learning how to prepare wholesome food and I will read a short quote here from manuscript release it says cooking may be regarded as less desirable than other lines of work but in reality it is a science in value above all other sciences thus God regards the preparation of healthful food and in our cooking class we've just been learning you know how to prepare these healthful foods and in order for us to have healthful foods we need to know a good source to get our healthful food and one way we can actually make sure that we have a high nutritional value is by planting our own foods or doing agriculture work and we have really been learning you know different ways that we can actually do agriculture to get the highest nutrition that we can get and Genesis chapter 2 verse 8 it tells us that God planted a garden eastward in Eden and he showed how he put man there but also we see that you know Christ or God he was actually the first person to do agriculture on earth and that made us seem you know more highly about agriculture work but another thing that really that we really like a lot was in the, being in the sanitarium and you may be wondering what a sanitarium is so here I will give a brief description on what exactly a sanitarium is it's a home where maladies both physical and spiritual may be cured by nature's own provisions and where people may be taught how to take care of themselves when sick 
they will learn of the greatest physician and learn to eat temperately of wholesome food. They will be educated on harmful substances. So tell us, you know, what have we really been like learning or practicing in the sanitarium? While we were there, we learned how to prepare juices, how to prepare different herbal teas. We also learned how to conduct different therapies on the guests that were there at the time. And there's a name for these therapies. What are they called? One therapy that we did a lot was hydrotherapy, which is actually using water to be able to help do therapies on different people to alleviate them from different sicknesses that they have. It's really been a blessing and the whole purpose of all of this is to point people back to Jesus Christ our Savior to win souls for the kingdom because we know that Jesus is coming again soon. Mm. So hopefully, hopefully soon we might be able to do another video but then you know, just keep us in your prayer. We continue praying for you guys and until next time. God bless you.